Hi everyone. So let's see some of the linear algebra related functionality what we can perform with the help of different functions available in a NumPy library. So the different linear algebra related functionality like uh, how to find a determinant or how you can uh, take the inverse of individual matrix, how you can make a matrix multiplication. So for that we require some matrix. So let's first create matrix. I have already imported this uh, numpy library so let me define let's say uh, i'm just going to define mat np dot let's say array or we'll we are going to generate a two dimension matrix yeah. so i have to pass list within a list so the first list belongs to let's say first row and second list belongs to let's say second row okay so matrix has been created now inside this np let's say you want to find the inverse of this matrix so we have one modules are available like a lin alg so it's a linear algebra related functionality uh, let's say you want to find the determinant first so we have a determinant available is minus 2 because it's a straightforward calculation like 1 into 4 minus 3 into uh, let's find inverse p dot linear algebra so l i n a l g i n b inverse functional so it's a minus 2 1 1.5 and minus 0 0.5 let's say you want to find the transpose of this matrix in that case you can just simply apply directly transpose so it becomes 1 3 so 2 and 3 position got swapped uh, you can try it out with a uh, different 3 cross 3 or even 4 cross 4 matrix also let's say you want to find the trash means the addition of every single element available at a diagonal position so you can use like a trash So it's a 5 because it's a 1 plus 4. Uh, let's see about the matrix multiplication. So for that uh, we require uh, two matrix. So let me create one matrix like this. Let's give the name like uh, array 1. With same contain let's create uh, another matrix. Okay, both of these matrix have a same contain now to do the matrix multiplication we have to just use this array 1 into array 2 so it's like a element by element matrix multiplication now if you want to do the real matrix multiplication so you can see here 1 into 1 2 into 2 3 into 3 and a 4 into 4 so you can use array 1 dot and then you can pass the another array so you can see that is a true real matrix multiplication this is element by element matrix multiplication okay here you can uh, use like another mathematical operation also like uh, array 1 minus array 2 so it will be 0 0 0 let's see some of the more functionality associated with algebra so let's say you have a linear sets of two equation so let me just create this two equation first so let's say you want to find 2x plus y is equal to 1 and another equation will be let's say x plus y is equal to 2. So this is the linear sets of two equation and our objective here is to find the value of x and y which satisfy both of them. So you can represent the two matrix like one is the coefficient of all the terms on the left hand side of this is equal to bar like a 2 1 1 1 and another matrix which is having a just the two rows and a one column just the coefficient or i would say the constant value which is the right side of this equal value so for that or uh, to solve this equation we have to define a first two matrix so let's say first matrix will define like let's say m0 then npra So the first matrix will be 2, 1, 
one one okay and let's define another matrix like m1 array and here i'm just going to write one and two so this is one and two corresponding to the matrix m1 and the coefficient of left hand side of is equal to bar will be two one one and one so we have two matrix ready now already we have learned about number of techniques to solve this problem now with the help of this different functions available in this linear algebra module we are going to see how we can solve this problem so inside this linear algebra module we have a one functions are available like a solve and we can just simply pass like m0 and m1 so we got the solution like minus 1 and a 3 so minus 1 is corresponding to the first variable like x and 3 is corresponding to another variable like a 3 so this is the intersection of two line i would say and the intersection point will be minus 1 and a 3 so this thing you can extend to many different variables let's see about the eigenvalues and eigenvectors so we won't go into detail about what that eigenvalues and eigenvectors but in a very layman term i would explain you like uh, when you want to find one particular vector or all those vector which is orthogonal to other vectors where the maximum energy will be preserved and a maximum variance will be there so when you have a data distributed in some one particular direction where there is a maximum amount of energy so that first vector will give which is nothing but the first eigen vector which indicates that maximum amount of energy present in this particular direction and this eigen value corresponding to that vector will indicate that how much strength of that particular direction the data distribution is okay so we have already this one matrix like a mat so let's find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this particular matrix. So same linear algebra module we are going to use and we can use like a Ike. I have to pass here the mat. Okay. Let me assign it to the EIG values. And another one is like a EIG vectors. So EIG values will be, this is the two values we got because in both the direction it has found out what is the Eigen values and EIG vectors will be. So this is the first vector where the maximum amount of energy will be preserved and this is another vector which is orthogonal to the first vector. Okay, so let's see about the some other functionality like a singular value decomposition and this is one of the very much useful decomposition method available in the linear algebra so let me create one matrix so let's say i'm going to define one matrix like a c0 in p dot array let's see one three five three minus one 6 okay matrix got defined now let's decompose this matrix into three different matrix like a u sigma and a v so we are going to use this linear algebra module and svd c0 we are going to pass it let me assign it to u sigma and a v okay so we have got it let's display this u and then sigma okay signum i wrote it but that's okay and v now if you observe here the u and v dimensions are completely different so if you want to decompose this matrix in a such a way that the dimension of this u and v will be same in this case you can pass the argument like a full matrices is equal to false okay let me execute it again so you can see the number of rows in this u and a v are now similar okay 
So that is all about this linear algebra related functionality, how we can perform with a built in functions available in this one of the module like a linear algebra module available in a library numpy. Okay, so that's all about this video.